Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 10, 4. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. As we look at this scripture, we can see there are two parts. There's a part that says, basically, if you uh, do not do some type of work, then you will become poor. But if you actually do some work and are steady with it, then you can become rich. You know, as we look at this scripture, we can see that, you know, there's an expectation that work will provide for us and it can provide a little bit of a surplus for us, right? Um, and that if you don't work, there's usually not going to be a surplus and there's not going to be an extra for you. And there's not going to be enough for you to then become rich and maybe continue in not doing anything, right? Um, when we look at this, we can see that, you know, that the Lord is telling us that work is okay at times. And then even with work, we may have a surplus. And a surplus is okay at times, right? What I think he's trying to say, which has become this motto in our society today, is that don't work, become rich, and that is the way to go. And obviously, that has happened sometimes. Um, people have not worked, <laughs> and they've become rich, and whatever, whether that lasts or that doesn't last, that's a whole nother topic we can kind of go off and off into with so many different things. And I think you can not work and then maybe have some money for a short period of time. But I really think long term, there's some type of diligence of some type of work that is expected in order to have a surplus and to have things is what this is saying. And this message that is kind of put out there, I think that's one of the things that can show that it's a lie. Because even though there may be opportunity for you not to work in to have some money at some point, right? I mean, is it going to be consistent and long lasting? And they don't tell you that part, which is that usually really doesn't happen. If you really look into some of these people, maybe who have, like you may have heard this, even won the lottery, or anybody who's become famous overnight and gained a little bit of money from that. And if you've really followed them, and I haven't looked too much into it, but I have seen and heard, you know, 10 years, 15 years down the road, some of them are just as poor as before they won the lottery. Like it wasn't, and they may have won millions of dollars and it's all gone within 10, 15 years. Or any, someone who is famous and, and maybe had made some money off one song or one movie, and you'll hear about them being completely broke 15 years later, 20 years later, whatever it may be. And that is one of the lies of the enemy to get you to maybe say, but, you know, the Bible is not true and there's not wisdom there. But when we look at everything as a whole and not just a piece of this over here, then what we gather is wisdom and wisdom for living for our whole life, not wisdom for living one day of this might be short term and it might benefit me, but it's not going to benefit me long term. So I pray that the Holy Spirit today has encouraged you and I thank you for listening.